latte makeup i have seen it all over tiktok and i need to try it because it literally looks so beyond beautiful it's exciting because i feel like we haven't had a makeup trend apart from like clean girl natural makeup girl aesthetic for a very very long time anyways the first time i saw the trend latte makeup was on hailey bieber's tiktok i guess what i just got i just got freaking pr package from road beauty i'm just so excited for this i haven't tried it yet I do really want to use one of the lip treatments. So there's three. I don't really know how to differentiate them. Watermelon slice, mm, salted caramel, and unscented. Should we do caramel? Because salted caramel is giving latte vibes. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. I definitely ate in something that smells like that. Mm, that smells so good. If someone kissed me with this on their lip, I would just be like... <laughs> <laughs> Literally 10 out of 10 for that. I'm actually really excited to try the other road stuff, but let's get into the makeup. So to prime my face and add that extra glow, I am going to be using this, which is a dupe or the Charlotte Tilbury glow product, whatever it is. And this will just add that extra tanned look. Look how shiny that makes my skin. <gasps> Stunning. Okay, so for brows, we are going to go for that fluffy, like look so i'm just kind of going to do my brows as usual but really make sure to fluff them up and out and also do a little bit of a tail to extend to the brow. literally just like that and then this is like my brow lamination product i have been using it like literally every time i do my makeup just because it's so good you know they're looking crazy but i'm just gonna like pat them flat into my face you know what pisses me off with eyebrows i feel like one always cooperates better to the vibe like this is usually my favorite eyebrow but this one is just it's vibing with the vibe i don't get it i wonder who has the answer for this kind of thing so now i'm going to rub onto my eyebrows with the lightest concealer that i have wait i don't drink lattes i oh my god i hate coffee like it makes me really sick i don't understand how people can enjoy it it tastes so bad anyway it doesn't mean i won't do a cute latte look now i'm just bringing this onto my lid That reminds me, like, since I just stabbed myself in the eye, I can literally make myself cry on cue, which is kind of good for a lot of situations. <laughs> okay, so now that we're starting the eyes, the first thing that is one of the most important things for this look is I'm going to waterline my eyes. This is brown, which will obviously really tie into the whole look. So I'm getting prepared to look literally crazy right now because I feel like every time I do, like, waterline before I do the rest of the eyes, I look insane. Anyways, we're going to move on. I'm using mainly the Not A Box of Chocolates by Colourpop today is this beautiful brown palette and the difference with how i'm doing my makeup today versus how i usually do my makeup is i'm blending everything from the lid upwards usually i just blend my crease but i'm doing it different today because we do want a brown darker lid so i'm just gonna get darker and darker until i feel like it looks good so i'm going in with the shade praline it's like my mom's name praline praline and it's super easy especially if you have like a brown palette because literally all the colors that you will need are in them okay, i'm gonna now mix amaret and tiramisu I just start to kind of Pat that on the lid before I blend upwards. And yeah, obviously the more time you take blending, the better it will look. So now I'm mixing together 90% cocoa and that's rich. I'm gonna start by patting it on the outer corner and blending it up and inwards. Now I'm looking like that girl from The Witcher who always, no matter what, has a smoky eye on. Even when she's waking up in the morning, I do not understand. Also, I just could not get into that show. I don't know, hate me if you want, but I just don't really enjoy it that much. And also it does piss me off how she wakes up with a smoky eye. It's like, show me the behind the scenes of you putting on your makeup before your boyfriend wakes up next to you you know what i mean <laughs> okay so now it's all about the golden eyeshadow that you put on top of your eyelids so i'm literally gonna get every single gold pigment that i have and shove it on my eyelid i'm gonna start off with honeycomb crunch and pb brittle and i'm gonna start at the midpoint of my eyelid and just blend 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 i'm now taking drizzle me this which is like a gray brown and putting it on the outer corner the key is to blend like a dark shimmer pigment into a light shimmer Pigment. Now I'm taking the white gold shimmer called Champagne Truffle and putting that on my inner corner. And to be honest, the goal is to like have a very eye-catching shimmer. So clearly we're not there yet. We need to keep going. And now we're really going to brighten up the inner eye with 
this highlighter. This is like the whitest highlighter that I've ever used. So this will definitely create a pop. There we go. And now for that final sparkle pop on the lid. I'm using this bum highlighter and it's literally bum. And I'm just tapping that on top of the entire lid. And that will give me like a gorgeous sparkle look. Okay, now it's time for mascara. This will really start to bring the eyes together. And I'm really <laughs> lathering this on because I don't know if you can tell, but in this look, I'm not wearing a freaking wing eyeliner, which is making me feel not like myself, to say the least. Okay, lashes are done. That really brought the look together. It is now time face. So I'm high points of my face. I'm putting my lighter foundation. I'm going to blend that out before we do anything else. I'm now brightening again with another light concealer. And I really want to be very bright and there be a big differentiation between the bronzing and the highlighting. Okay, now is the fun part. We're going to bronze up my face. We really want very glowy look today. Okay, so for blush today, I'm not going to be doing the usual pink vibe i'm going more with an orange vibe and by having like a coral kind of blush it will really bring together the bronzy vibe i'm now going to set under my eyes with the kbd vegan beauty translucent powder and as you can see i'm not powdering where like my bronzer or my blush is because i'm going to use a bronze and a blush powder so we minimize the powder effect we do want like a glowy look bronzing up my face and for blush again going in with a more coral red look you want to look sun-kissed now i am just contouring the nasal cavity now since we really want that sun-kissed vibe i'm gonna be adding some fake freckles which i'm super excited about so just taking like a pointing brush and then some like dark colors i'm just gonna put little dots everywhere and yes i know that looks very intense. That's just where reverse contouring comes in. So I'm just going to be going over the powder, just blending everything in. I don't think I remember the first time I drank coffee, but I definitely remember the first time I drank wine. Coffee and wine have always been two things that I just cannot understand why people drink them because they are just so like foul tasting to me. I don't really remember the first time I had coffee, but oh my God, the first time I had wine was like my communion. And I literally like went up and drank it and I gagged. I was expecting it to be like beautiful and tasty because you know, everyone loves wine but i just can't do it i really can't apparently it comes with age but you know as i age it's not something i would even go for you know what i mean it's like oh i don't even want to drink that okay and just with whatever's left over on the nasal cavity brush we're going to go under the eye and just blend it out so it's not as harsh all right i'm gonna spritz me face set it in place oh that rhymed Okay, and now it is time to highlight. Any highlighter is fine, but obviously if it's more golden toned, that will suit the look better. So this is the highlighter that I am using. It's Charlotte Tilbury and it's very gold vibes, as you can see. Oh, I am super excited for the lips. We're gonna do my brown look. I'm very used to doing nudes, so I'm gonna really go in with this lip liner and overline the hell out of my lips. And now I'm kind of patting in this brown lipstick. And now final step, I'm kind of unsure about this, but it is like this gold lip gloss. Oh, I feel like that's actually really pretty. But yeah, you guys, I'm honestly like super happy. I think this look turned out super cute. I don't know why I would say it's giving natural, but it's definitely giving sun-kissed, cutesy vibe. I really, really like this. And I'm actually genuinely very happy that this is like a new cute little trend. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, this is the finished look. <laughs> really hope that you like this look i had honestly so much fun doing this i'm feeling cute i'm feeling myself i am feeling myself and that is the goal of makeup to feel yourself <laughs> but yeah you guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like subscribe follow me on instagram at leahholton underscore and i will see you very soon